How's it going today guys? Welcome to the episode. We're going to be talking about Toyota's big problem with the paint on the Tacomas. Now I don't know if you're aware or not, but there is a problem with the paint on these trucks. Specifically the third gens. I haven't seen many problems with the second gens and first gens. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on. So I've been exploring a couple different threads on a couple different forums and what made me look into this was a post I saw on Facebook. That cesspool of a social media site does have some benefits. So what we're going to look at here is paint fading, paint chipping, and all around just bad paint quality. I've had some issues on my truck with the paint seemingly being thin with anything that touches this paint just chips it off. Now, I originally thought this was due to it being a new truck and the paint not really sitting and having time to really get in with the metal. but. That doesn't seem to be the case because at this point this truck is a 2021 and that paint should have plenty of time to sit and really get to know the metal and not chip like that. Looking at the chips on my paint, it does seem thin. Now this is the same thing we experienced on my dad's 2022, so this seems to be an all around issue. Now he lightly tapped his paint when he was putting on his tonneau cover and that chipped the paint. Now we've had a ton of cars. I've bounced wrenches off cars, you name it, and I haven't had paint chip like these do. That's my problem right now. Now taking a look at this Facebook post right here that really made me dive deep into this issue. This person here had a 2000 and I think it was 18 or 16, don't quote me on that, I don't have the post in front of me. It was an orange Tacoma and the issue was the paint fading really bad on the roof. These trucks aren't no 1970s trucks, the paint should not be looking like this. And what really made me mad was when I was reading the comments the Toyota fanboys in that were ridiculous now listen I love my truck and I love Toyota I am myself a fanboy but people telling this person that oh it's the way you wash the truck or you know it's kind of old so you should expect that there is no reason for paint to be fading on any vehicle that's under 20 30 years old like come on there's quality control for a reason and obviously it was not done on this truck and it seems to be really common so after I read this Facebook post, got kind of mad about it, I started digging around on other threads and other forums on Facebook and on the internet and it's extremely common to have these paint problems. Now it's a known issue with the white, since it's a single stage, the one white. I can't remember exactly what one it is. I think it's ice white or frost white, something like that. I'll post it right here just so I can remember exactly what white it is and I'm not misinterpreting. But basically a certain white that Toyota offers for these trucks is a single stage paint and it's a known issue that it'll chip off. I saw a ton of posts on this. Now I'm pretty sure there is a lawsuit against this and you can actually get it under warranty and get it replaced. But it's a ton of hoops you have to jump through in order to get that fixed. Which is a big shame and a problem on Toyota's end in itself. But now I've seen a ton of other paint issues that have nothing to do with the white color that it's chipping it's fading like that orange i just showed you and it just the list goes on and on so i think there's a whole issue going on with toyota and just their paint now seemingly from when me and my dad looked at the paint chips that we had the paint seems extremely thin i think this is a key component of what is going on i think they are cheaping out and going the really thin route on the paint and the consumer is suffering now nowadays we're paying upwards of 40 thousand dollars for these budget mid-sized trucks and having thin paint that's going to be fading in five years is just unacceptable toyota you got to do something about this and if you disagree with me and you think it's people treating their trucks wrong their trucks my dude and they're costing upwards of 40 grand there's no excuse to have paint fade within five years i'm going to continue to look into this issue and see how many people are actually experiencing issues with paint because in my experience with talking to toyota guys if they have issues with the truck that they overpaid for, they kind of ignore them and I don't know if it's out of pride or because they don't want to admit fault with their purchase or they just don't want to blame Toyota for anything. But I'm going to keep digging to see how many people are exactly are having this issue. And if you are experiencing this issue, leave a comment. And if you think I'm completely wrong and Toyota can't do anything wrong, also leave a comment. I'd like to hear from you too. Let's have a conversation about this. Let me know in the comments if you have any issues with your paint. Also, thank you for 500 subscribers. I know we're a little bit past that now. 
happened last week. Really appreciate it, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. I'm going to continue to try my best to make content. In the middle of moving right now, like I said in my last video, doing my final for college. Kind of stressed out, so I'm trying to do videos and everything. But all in all, I've, I think I've been having a good time on YouTube. It's a fun time making videos of all this stuff. Hopefully, we can get a camping video out. But I'll see you guys in the next one. If you like this video, check this one out here. It's pretty good, and I'll see you guys later.